New twist in the case surrounding accused Seminole Heights killer Howell Donaldson. Now his attorneys believe he's mentally ill. And now he will be evaluated by a psychologist. News Channel 8's Avery Cotton was there when a judge made that decision. She has the latest now from the courthouse in downtown Tampa. Psychologist Richard Carpenter has been appointed to evaluate Howell Donaldson III's mental status. Both Donaldson and his parents were inside the courtroom when that was announced. Cuffed with a shaved head, Howell Donaldson III was escorted into the courtroom today to hear who the court would appoint to evaluate his mental health. Donaldson's attorneys filed a motion stating they have reason to believe he is mentally incompetent to proceed in the case, and now that will be up to the results of a psych evaluation. If there are some issues which a defense attorney deems uh, could be uh, present, obviously they are just attorneys and not doctors, so they have doctors explore whether or not there's any sort of mental uh, event taking place that needs to be raised before the court. Donaldson is accused of killing Benjamin Mitchell, Monica Hoffa, Anthony Niboa, and Ronald Felton at random back in the fall and spreading terror through the historic neighborhood of Seminole Heights. His parents have been on house arrest. The courtroom is the only time they get to see their son. I'm sure it's very emotional for them, especially to see him in those type of conditions. Uh, but they love their son, and they, any, any chance they get to see him, they take advantage of that. Before leaving, Donaldson finds his parents, gives them a nod and a smile, and walks out. And it appeared to be quite emotional for both Donaldson and his parents at the very end, both of them mouthing, I love you, to each other before Donaldson was escorted out. Avery Cotton, News Channel 8.